Watch out. <laughs> yes. Dead bull. Oh, he's stiff. Look at that. Compass West Outfitters. My guide, Jeff. Riley behind the camera. We're here for meat. We got it done. Love it. Absolutely love them. Nice five by five. Oh. Last day bull, brother. Ooh. Last day bull. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, I love it. You're going to be some good meat, buddy. Yes. Look at them fronts, man. I know. Oh. He's a beauty. He's nice. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Let's get your delicious meat off, boy. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna get that hind quarter off. And then come up here, I'm gonna come up the back of this leg. For your mount. Yeah. Yep, cool. So we're, uh, we're gonna do the gutless method here in the field. So right now we're just working and getting this cape off <clears throat> and then we'll start quartering. Safety is obviously paramount, but then cleanliness. So anything, two things, actually three things are gonna contaminate the animal. The gut, the ground, and whatever's on the outside of his hide. So yeah, you go and lay it on the ground, you're just picking up a bunch of stuff you gotta clean off later. And, it, and if you look at that uh, hind quarter, it's cooling off as we speak. So the sooner you can get the hide off, the better your meat's gonna taste. So we're gonna try to get as much of this rib meat off as we can with this front shoulder. We'll leave the back straps and we'll leave the neck. We'll come back for those, but right now we're just gonna start right here cut this rib meat, flap it over, and then just take that whole shoulder blade off. It's amazing. One of the things that we like to say is, you know, faith, family, food, and it always, always connects over food. That's one of the things that we're really passionate about is just making sure that we're enjoying life because food is one of the uh, great pleasures in life, especially when you can kill, butcher your own food, just it makes it all that more satisfying. And when you can do it with family, some of the best traditions were built around hunting. So that's what I take away from it. It's just one of the big blessings in life. Being on a mountaintop, harvesting an animal like this. It's the most tedious part, but it's also the best. Right? And I would suggest don't freeze those. Eat those as soon as you can. Pretty darn good, my friend. Pretty yes. darn good. Pulling the back straps. Can't wait to be throwing these on the grill. So what we do is we just go down along the rib cage. Then we come to the back, find that up along that spine. Once you get it started, you can just kind of pull it out of there. taking it up all the way to the shoulder. So we got the one side done, same process on this side. We're going to uh, going to take the front shoulder off, take the hind quarter, and then pull that back strap out, get that inner loin, the neck meat, get it bagged up, get off this mountain. One, two, three. Right. Down to the last quarter. Gonna get this hind quarter off of here. That last back strap, the neck, the inner loin. Get it off the mountain. Ready? Yep.
all finished quartering everything's in game bags going to do a little bit more trimming on this get a little bit more of this meat off of here we certainly don't want anything to go to waste we're gonna get out of here Compass West Outfitters cooler. They've got a walk-in. We're gonna get this bull out of here. We've got him quartered in the back of the truck. It's gonna go, go in the cooler. It's gonna start chilling. We've got him on our racks, all quartered. Central part of this process is getting him in a walk-in cooler and getting him chilled down. After it chills down, we're going to let them age for a few days. We've got all this awesome meat processing equipment here behind us. We'll get him worked up. But uh, for now, he's going in the cooler. A meat lug full of tenderloin and elk chops. Quick tip about boning if you have a large piece of uh, like this and you want to get that exterior fat off, if you just cut it into, into strips that are a couple inches wide, it's going to let you cut that fat or anything else across there off. You can make short work of it. Elk top round, bar none the best primal you could use for jerky. And you can see that the muscle fibers are running this direction, so you want to cut your jerky against the grain. Now there is this little side muscle right here you can remove so that your jerky strips don't come apart in the center. <clears throat> but then what you want to do, since your grains are going this way, you want to cut against the grain an inch and a quarter or so thick and just make a stack of nice steaks. And then what we'll do is we'll come back through and we'll cut these nice thin strips and you can see how the grain is running so that when you eat this jerky it naturally is just going to pull apart and you're not cutting it with the grain. Scott made a point here, as I'm breaking this down, you do see there's a pile starting to uh, mount, mound up here. Get some friends together, get some family. This, this portion's gonna be the bottleneck because that's where you're gonna be most meticulous getting the tendons and sinew and things like that out. So, you know, get, get a line of four or five people, that way you can work through this portion quicker. We're getting ready, we've got 130 pounds of trimmings. We're getting ready to do some grinding. So we're gonna set up the grinder, get some tubs, get rocking and rolling. All right, so we made pretty short work of the elk. We went from fabricating to uh, getting all of our chops sealed up in the chamber back. We went ahead and used the grinder to grind out our hot Italian sausage, used the stuffer, put it in the one and a half pound packs, used the, the external back, got that all sealed up. We've still got 150 pounds of ground elk that we're gonna work through. Seth's so gonna season up our jerky so we can get it in our dehydrator. That pretty much up, wraps up what is the business end of this project. We're just gonna continue packing it up and put it in the freezer for, for camp. Oh, you're Nothing but the ears left. <laughs>
Five. You gotta say it.